All right, guys, welcome back to another video of Shaman J. Today, we're going to be talking about the Pixel uh, Fold. I put a poll up recently, and I realized just how many people don't use foldables. Now, this isn't a, a metric to where I can say it's official, but the people who follow me, a large majority of you guys who support me, do not use a foldable. So we're going to take a look at that poll that I did. Oh, it's right here. still up. Okay, so I posted this up yesterday. Uh, and it's got 667 votes, 31 comments, obviously. And most of the comments are from the no section. So, uh, I, I, I'm surprised at how many of you guys don't use a foldable. So basically 18% of you guys use a foldable, foldable that follows me. So, um, that's, that's crazy. And I would assume that the majority of my followers are Android users because only 9% clicked, um, <laughs> iPhone. <laughs> Just fun for the poll. But um, the Pixel Fold is, in fact, one of my favorite devices. Now, I'm coming up on a year with this device, man. I mean, it came out last year. I got it at launch. In June, it'll be an official year for me, and we're in April. So we've got about two months, actually two months from today, I think, a rough around this area uh, this time. It's going to be officially one year with this device. So... I'm I'm surprised that so many of you guys that don't use a foldable. I really am. I'm shocked. Um because there's a lot to love about foldable phones, man. There there's there's a whole bunch to love. Uh they they bring so much to the table. Now while this isn't my favorite foldable, uh currently, you know, that belongs to the OnePlus Open. And I'm hearing great strides and great things about uh, what's coming for the Pixel Fold 2. We shall see. Uh, I have a lot of foldables, so I'm not going to pull them all out. Actually, one of my favorites is sitting right here. I actually use. Uh, but this device right here, I want it to win. Uh, it's not a bad device at all. It just really need for a first attempt, they did pretty good. They got the size right. They got uh, the screens right. They got a lot of things right. The hardware is super premium. Um, it still needs some tweaks though. And I've done plenty of videos on you know what, what needs to be improved on this device. And by the way, we're still on Record a Pixel with the Pixel. So this video has been recorded with the Google Pixel 8 Pro. Got the Minty Fresh on the block here recording. I hope you guys enjoy the content and uh, the discussion today. So um, I've made <clears throat> plenty of videos about this device and letting you guys know, man, I really think that they should improve this. I really think they should improve this. One of the main gripes I had, I think was probably just this ugly camera bar on the back after ha after owning this device. I pretty much like a lot about this device. It's really heavy though, in comparison to other foldables. And so they'll need to work on sh shaving some weight down, getting this thing in the gym and getting a different look for the camera bar. Um, you know, if you have this big bar here, I'm pretty sure they have plans to have many more cameras or something going across there they they have to uh this typically doesn't live in a case but when it does live in a case it's on my pataka case here which is an ultra thin case nothing fancy just so i can lock it down on, on the mag safe or whatever the, the 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 magnetic system going for pataka but overall i'm genuinely happy with this product it's just that I need more now that I've seen what the competition is doing. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm seriously thinking of going back to where I, my, where I started, which is the imports. Um, the only thing about the import game is that most of their phones are really big. Uh, and I prefer a shorter, you know, like a, I like a, um, not, not too big of a screen to lug around when it's in its natural form factor, which is a single slab. And this is a good look, um, but I definitely can go import and, and win. I believe I don't really care too much about warranties and all that stuff. But you do get a warranty. It's just the import warranty. But overall, um, I don't know much I can do with this device as far as improvements for the things that I want. I mean, over time, when you start to use something a lot, you want it to be what you want it to be. And I think one another thing they need to do with this is improve the battery life. And that could be done with a nice size battery, but also the software optimization. This doesn't have bad battery life. It just doesn't last as long as my other foldables. Um, and, and that being the OnePlus, it can go two days probably. Uh, this can 
possibly not because remember this is a this is almost a year old so um with continuous use it, you know the, everything is going to degrade in the battery so i think this device is still holding on pretty solid for for what it is i love the the way this screen is done i love it a lot i think it's really good uh, you know the, I, i'm circling back around to this because i was like man you know this is actually a solid device it just needs those slight improvements that's all so with with the rumors I know you guys have heard them with the rumors of the new pixels dropping pretty soon they should be coming up pretty soon because this device is almost a year old uh, and the pixel 8 pros and all those those are not a year old yet but um, this device is almost a year old and I, I'm really hoping that Google really does something fantastic because it's going to be a tough sale for a lot of people if they even make another version of this i mean rumor mill says okay yeah they're making another version but are they really going to make another version you can scrap it google will cancel something in a heartbeat they will cancel it man they <laughs> i was having a discussion privately but they will cancel it in a heartbeat man they will cancel out a product if it is not bringing them any value whether the consumers love it or not love it or not and other companies do it too but it just seems like Google's always in the forefront for canceling a product that people like, uh, even if it's not used a lot. There are people using it. So this device right here has aged well. Let me go ahead and fire up a video here. All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. Today we're gonna be talking about some reasons why you should probably consider the Mustang over the Camaro or the Challenger and some reasons why you probably should not and should avoid the Mustang. Now, you'll see a lot of videos out there of people telling you, you know. Beautiful display. Uh, but as you can see here, I watch it full screen because I like doing that on my other Samsung products. I genuinely think this is a beautiful display and it's not even uh, cranked way up. You crank it all the way up. It really, really does well. Um, but I think they're going to have to work on um, a few more things to make this this compete uh, when it comes to the screen area because I really like all the controls. I like to, this is typically how I watch content with my foldable devices. And if it's a bigger screen like this, i.e., you know, like this device, it's even better. So they don't have too many tweaks to make but they do have some tweaks to make and, and I could really appreciate what they're doing. But I think the screen needs to be a little bit brighter because this is the peak brightness. This is the peak brightness on this device and it's not bad at all. It's not bad. It's just that, um, it's just not as bright as some other screens. And you start to talk about price. Uh, they're going to have to make some adjustments to the price because again, this device came out swinging. Yeah, that camera bump is, you know, it's awkward looking, but it's, it's very functional in comparison to this camera bump that doesn't look good and it's not as good at video and things like that. So um, I think this screen is beautiful. Uh, to compete though, if you match the entire package with price and everything, they're gonna need to, they're gonna make, they need, they're gonna need to make some changes. Uh, now, as far as the, the Tensor chip goes, uh, they're going to definitely need to improve on the functionality uh, of the Tensor chip. I was doing a video recently on, I think it was comparing uh, the Pixel 8 Pro and the uh, S24 Plus. And some of you guys pointed out, well, Jay, hey, that Pixel 8 Plus was kind of stuttery and jittery. Yeah, I saw it too. I saw it too. Uh, it's not an oversight. It's just that, you know, Google has to find a way because this to be clear, the Snapdragon 8 Gen, and then there's also now the Snapdragon 8 Gen S, which technically outperforms the Gen 2, but the, it's still under the Gen 2. Uh, but they could go with a Snapdragon processor, but I think it's about saving face at this point because they brought out their chip and they need to stick with it. And I don't suggest they abandon their chip. So many people say, oh, they just need to throw a Snapdragon in it. That will be like BlackBerry. Don't do it. Don't throw out something that's working. Keep it. Don't do that to your consumers because then you lose people who are genuinely interested in your product and willing and have been rocking with you uh, since day one. So the Hawks TV recently put a poll up inside our private community saying, hey, 
how many Pixel devices have you owned? And, and some of us have owned them all. Uh, and it's not going to make me any more upset that, you know, I can't, you know, if, if it puts a Snapdragon in there, I'll be excited. I'm not that loyal to Google. Uh, but I do think that they need to improve on the chip for just like regular day-to-day -day tasks of doing things. It's, it, it's important that they do that. Um, I like uh, what Google is doing here. And I think it's a good thing that they are pushing forward with the Pixel lineup the way they're doing it. However, we do need to see some improvements uh, for um, the performance. It does not measure up to the god dang what in the world oh my god it does not just see that it does not measure up to what the competition is doing and that's that's just about it so that's beautiful i got one too um i think it's it's important that google and, it, and i don't see any kind of like bad stuttering or slowdowns pretty much in general it's like right now you don't see any of that on the pixel um, fold, but I was using the Pixel 8 Pro, and that's supposed to be their more, most powerful device at the moment, and it had a little bit of jitters to it. But hey, it is what it is. Um, this device is is really good. I like using a foldable. Um, I don't have any complaints about using a foldable. I know some people are still on the fence about a foldable. Like a transaction like that, look, look. That's not a, a long delay. But once it gets warmed up, I guess, then it's going. But some people would complain about that, saying it's not fast enough. It's not rotating fast enough. And I get it. You know, sometimes you want your device to be just overly speedy when you really don't need to. So day-to-day -day tasks, what people are doing um, with foldable devices, there's a special kind of person for a foldable device. It's like there's a special kind of person who has a love for Ferraris and Lamborghinis. Uh, it just whatever I don't know what it is. just any kind of comparison of things that you might consider a niche product um, there's a special kind of person for those and it, it when you when you put your money into it you're expecting something uh, to be stellar quality however if you're a real if you're a realist you know that if you're buying the first product of something it's definitely gonna have some issues it's gonna have some major issues probably or it might not have any major issues but the great part about this device is the hardware, even after almost a year, it is still premium. Everything still works. People are going to say, well, you know, that screen, once you cut it or break it or whatever, that's, what, that's why I'm not into the foldables. You're right. If I damage this screen, it's done for. I'm going to have to get the screen replaced. Uh, but the majority of people who have a foldable, I use it open when I'm texting and emailing for sure. But most of the time, I'm using it like this. It's very convenient to have a slab device when you want to but again that disadvantage man that disadvantage of it being so freaking heavy is <laughs> it's it's just the uh... okay so this device right here this is my my ultra this is another one of my devices that i use um it is much smaller but it, it 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 doesn't feel like it weighs, and this is a heavy device too. But just the the it's like you ever heard like the term top heavy, you know this feels heavy when it's closed like this. But then when I when I open it, it's it's more balanced. It's more balanced. This camera bar doesn't help, but I mean this is a fairly thin device, and you know I like it, man. Either either you like foldables or you don't. But I can attest to the weight on this thing. It is not for the faint of heart. This is, when it's closed, I feel the weight. When it's not closed, when it's open, I don't really feel the, 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 the weight of it at all, to be honest. Because I am I got two hands on it, and that's that's really what it is. So, how, how, how are the cameras on this thing after all the software updates and everything that it's got? Because it's, it's on the current software. Um... I took some photos. Uh, let me show you here. Let me go through. Hold on. Let me see here. And I really like that you can open the camera and then have like the little area on the side, like for your photos or whatever. I really like that. But let me let me pull up some photos here. 
just snapped a few a few portrait shots and just of different things and I, I, I really believe that Google has really mastered like there's nothing there's nothing really out there that's touching the photos in the United States I I, I really believe that there is not there's not very many phones out there that can that can take better photos and portrait shots in particular than than a pixel device um, I think it's always been that way uh, and I don't think it's gonna change anytime soon they're gonna really have to fail uh, in order to uh, and this is the front inner camera right here all of these I need to get one of what this front screen right here is what I need to do real quick so I just took this one just now with the front screen this camera out here uh, but that that screen that camera <clears throat> that camera um, this is the outer screen right here. This this is pretty good, man. Uh, but that look at the look at the way it it did the Corvette logo in the back back there, like some errors and stuff in the photos. Uh, but the camera, this is all the rear camera. I would use all the rear camera. Uh, the detail. This is a rear camera, and this is the front inner camera up here on the front inside. I mean, they've they've put together some of the best cameras. It's not perfect, you know. You'll see some areas where it's kind of uh, messing things up in that one, that last photo in particular. I could retake this and get a better shot, but I just did a one, a quick snap, and that's that. But overall, when you're taking a photo with this particular set of these particular set of cameras, you're not going to be disappointed. Um, I just want them to improve, and you can see there, record a pixel with a pixel. Um, I just want them to improve on on video. I think they really need to really need to do something with this video because uh, you know there's there's not much here to it. There's not a lot going on uh, with the um, oh boy can't be used with the ratio. Okay, let's go to this ratio then. I don't know why it's doing that, but hey, um, let's go back in now. Oh yeah, because it wants me to to do it like this. Yeah, my bad. But there's not a lot that you know they can do to improve on their video, besides making some major changes to the quality of their video. And it's and their, this video app. This app also just isn't the best. Like it, it needs to do. It needs to be better uh, in comparison to um, other apps out there. Other video recording apps are just camera apps it needs to be better period um i don't trust the hdr on a lot of devices this one isn't that great it could be better uh but you know overall i think they're going to be um there i think there will be another uh a, another pixel i'm hoping that it is i'm hoping that there's another pixel I'm hoping that, and let me, I want to take a picture of my, my glasses case right here. It just popped up to me to take this. Actually, I'm going to do a video. I'll do a video. Just to kind of show you what the quality could possibly be. This is a video sample with the Pixel Fold shooting in 4K. Just a real, a real quick video. And just crank the sound up here just a little bit. This is a video sample with the Pixel Fold shooting in 4K. Now that video, video that video looks great. However, I'm in a controlled environment. Uh, it's not always great like that, <laughs> and. You know it needs improvement I, I don't know i've put out enough videos to show you i'm not going to trash this phone on video because it's it is definitely doesn't have the best video when you start to talk about price and things like that as a package it's just not there to me uh, it can be better it's not bad but it's definitely not phenomenal for a, a device that's kind of expensive so and and i bought this device i think i did a trade-in or something like that of one of my older devices and got like 700 off or something like, i think i paid like i know i paid like a thousand dollars for this device but i got a big discount on it because i, I did a trade-in and um 
I forgot what I traded in, but it was something that, you know, I was like, wow, they're giving me that much money for this. So I, I'm sure I got it for 700 or whatever, uh, or thousand dollars. I got it for like a thousand ninety five after all taxes and everything with my trade in. That's a lot of money still. And even at that price, if this was nine ninety nine, eesh, I don't think I could have too many complaints. Like if I didn't have to give up something to get it for a thousand bucks, I don't think I would have too many complaints. The screen is holding up great. The cameras, the video cameras are good, not great. The photos are really good. And the overall presentation of this device is solid. The minor changes that I feel like they need to make are just my minor changes. Improve the battery, make it less on the weight and get rid of this hideous camera bump and then make the cameras. If you're gonna have a bump like this, make the video stellar. You know what I mean? So it's gotta, it's gotta be something. But overall folks, I am, even if it doesn't sound like it, I am genuinely happy with this device but I need more. I need them to, to make this better because I probably don't have a trade-in for this next one. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna have a trade-in for the next one if they make one. And Google didn't send these out as a part of Team Pixel, and I get it, so it's an expensive device. They only sent it out to a select few people, I believe. I wasn't one of them, I'm not mad. I was gonna buy it either way. Uh, but here it is, the Pixel Fold, uh, almost a year later. Almost a year later, in two months, it'll be a year with this device. And and by the way, it's working great on Visible. I use Visible Wireless. There's a link in the description if you decide to grab Visible, Visible Wireless. Go ahead and do so, you won't regret it. Even if you just wanna try it for one month, it's only $5. So that definitely is gonna be beneficial to you. I'm maxed out on credits too, so I don't get any more credits for referring people. Uh, but I still say you should try it for five dollars you don't have to port your line you can just start a new number and then if you decide you like it which i know you will especially if you have t-mobile um if you got t-mobile no shade to t-mobile again i was with them for 26 and a half years but even before they were t-mobile if you have t-mobile just go ahead and port your number switch over to visible you're gonna love it because you're basically on verizon's network and phone calls and everything is great for for 25 dollars, you get unlimited everything and if you decide to go to that 45 dollar plan your internet gets even better. You get prioritized and you get the access to the ultra wide band. Now, for some reason I have access to the ultra wide band. I, I'm not paying for it, uh, but nonetheless, uh, switch to visible. If you're, if you're interested in a very solid carrier for phone calls, internet data, no problems. I haven't had any service interruptions in the time I've been with visible. So this device is really good. I'm hoping that, um, Google really makes another one, and I wanna see what they can do. I really wanna see it. This is a beautiful device. It just needs those small tweaks that'll make me happy. So then it can compete with, with my, one of my favorite, has become one of my favorite foldable phones. This hardware just feels phenomenal. This is great. Anyway, it's your man Jay, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Remember, record a pixel with a pixel. How the Pixel 8 Pro do. Take care.